when it happens that businesses led by women become successful, it is worth no noting and celebrating. And this is what we're going to do today. Because we want to inspire other women that are sitting out here, maybe to follow along uh, with this inspiration. The chairman of the Association of Women Business Owners will now introduce this year's Inspiration Award. And so you have to give a warm welcome, a very good round of applause to Claudia Matthiasen. Oh, you can do better than that. Come on, I'm going to get you. Woohoo! Well, thank you for the introduction, Paula. Yes, my name is uh, Claudia Matthiasen and I'm the chair of uh, the Women's Business Owners Association. Since 98, hey, we yeah. have uh, oh, yeah, awarded yeah, yeah. female business owners with the Inspiration Award. And last year's winner, Mette Lugeraun, co-founder and owner of Endomondo, whom I'm proud to present. So please, Mette, would you welcome her to the stage? If Mette had been waiting for a sign before taking the big step to start her own business, a gypsy woman in the street in New York gave it to her on a postcard when she was 25. The card said, whatever your wildest dreams may be, they are only a scratch on the surface of what's possible. Today the app from Indomando has 23 million users 25. over 25 million users over the world. So, Please, Mette, take it away. Thank you. Uh, and thanks. We started out in the Mondo back in uh, 2007 with three founders in total. Uh, we worked at that time at McKinsey as consultants, and we, uh, we started talking about how it would be great to do something else and how we could maybe create our own company. And we had this long list of ideas. Uh, one of them was to do something that made uh, individual sports more social and more fun, something that could motivate people to exercise and maybe even make the world a little bit better. That was the very idealistic vision. Um, we all had uh, different backgrounds in sports. That was kind of the shared uh, denominator. So we thought we, we would give it, a, give it a shot. The concept really is um, a, to, to turn the phone into a personal trainer by using the GPS in the phone. So it's an app. At this time, uh, back in 2007, the concept of apps didn't really exist. There were no app stores, uh, and no phones had GPS, uh, pretty much. So it was a little bit of, a, of an uphill battle, I would say. Um, uh, the mission from the beginning has been to make fitness fun, and that hasn't changed a bit. Um, to do that, we wanted to create a social community on top of the personal trainer. And that meant we had to uh, incorporate a lot of different uh, operating systems, uh, which has been uh, quite, a, quite a big effort. We also integrated with all the big players uh, in our industry. Just, uh, just high level where we are at right now, we have 25 million uh, users who have downloaded the app. Uh, 18 million of them have registered in our community. Um, most of our users are in Europe, but the US is our single biggest country with uh, almost 20%. Um, 3.6 million interact with the service on a monthly basis. And uh, we, a, lot, a lot of workouts are shared on Facebook every day, and uh, you've probably seen some, some of those. And just two specific uh, recommendations, if, if anyone wants inspiration and you haven't, you're not familiar with these, is a rework, a book by 37 Signals, a life-changing <laughs> book, uh, and then uh, a TED Talk by Simon Sinek. Uh, that will all, that's also uh, really, really great. It's called uh, Start With Why. Uh, that's just two examples of inspiration that has really helped us uh, tremendously. I think that's, uh, that's all for me. I think I've used my... 10 15 minutes? Just just on time, yes. I think we should uh, thank Meta. I don't know 
if it's fair to keep on calling it a startup with 25 million users. We try. <laughs> we, I want to keep calling it that because I want to maintain that atmosphere and, and yeah. 